एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एज पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Taylor and uh, McLaurin theorem. They both are helpful for writing a function in series form. And uh, because any function, if we have how we write uh, the uh, function in the series form, sometimes it is very very useful. Because suppose if we talk about continuity, if we talk convergence, then we can relate uh, function continuity to check the convergence of the series, and a uh, convergence of the series we can relate to the continuity of the function. So. Taylor and McLaurin is the first series which relates or which expresses any function to uh, the series uh, form of that function. But how we write a, 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 any function in the series form, anyhow you know sin x series, e to the power x series, very basic or very fundamental uh, uh, function it is. And we know the series that is 1 plus x plus x square by 2 factorial and all, but how they have come and on the basis of what we are writing, what conditions e to the power x is satisfying. So all these things we will be doing in this lecture. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Seema Thakran. Welcome to S. Chand Academy. If you want to learn engineering mathematics, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. In this lecture, basically, we will be learning Taylor and Maclaurin's theorem. And uh, the remainder, with remainder it is, but the remainder, when it approaches to 0, we can write the series of that uh, any particular function which is satisfying Taylor and Maclaurin's uh, conditions. So now let's start. Taylor and Maclaurin theorem. With remainder it is, but as, as I said this will approach to 0 because we, uh, we are writing the series form and it will approach to 0. Then we will link Taylor and Maclaurin to a series of a function. Here let f be a function and if there is a function obviously it, it will be defined in some particular domain in a to a plus h then fx equal to fa plus x minus a f dash a plus x minus a whole square by 2 factorial f double dash a and then we, we can keep writing and so on you can see fx is fa plus x minus a f dash a plus x minus a whole square by 2 factorial f double dash a the next term will be x minus a whole cube upon 3 factorial f triple dash a and then we keep writing the terms. This is Taylor series by Taylor's theorem when the remainder is approaching to 0. Uh, this is the Taylor series by taking the remainder part. in Taylor's theorem approaching to 0. So this is the Taylor's th see, uh, series by Taylor's theorem uh, taking the uh, remainder approaching to 0. Now if A is 0 then the above series the above series is called Maclaurin series. It means simply if you have uh, this is the series at any point x equal to a that is Taylor series but if this particular point is 0 then we say that this is Maclaurin series. I start with the basic uh, uh, basic fundamental function and my first fu uh, function is write the Taylor and 
मैकलॉरेन सीरीज ऑफ e टू द पार x साइन x log x सो माई फंक्शन इज e टू द पार x इफ आई एम राइटिंग द टेलर सीरीज बिकॉज दट नो पॉइंट इज मैं इट मीन्स इन स्टार्टिंग आई एल कंसिडर द पॉइंट जीरो सो इफ पॉइंट इज जीरो द सी टेलर सीरीज एज वी हैव रिटन अब the taylor series at x equal to 0 is given by fx equal to f0 because instead of a i'll be uh, putting 0 x minus 0 f dash 0 x minus 0 whole square by 2 f double dash zero and so on so everything is depending on the function for taylor and maclaurin series because we keep differentiating the function the function has to be infinitely many times differentiable f has to be infinitely this was understood by the writing of the statement infinitely many times differentiable it means you keep differentiating it the derivative it will it will be differentiable all the time infinitely many times it will be differentiable on uh, on that fact we write this series now what my function is e to the power x it is increasing function f0 will be what e to the power 0 that is 1 f dash x e to the power x f Dash zero will be e to the power zero. That is one. In till twelfth class, you don't understand or you don't know how these uh, functions are connected with the series uh, concept. This is the concept. You should know how the linking part. You can uh, uh, understand from here. So you can see that each derivative is coming out to be one. Now I'm just putting the values in the series. So f x that is e to the power x. Becomes one plus x then into one plus x square by two factorial into one and so on. In summation form, also I can write it as x n n factorial n from zero to infinity. So the e to the power x function. This is the series expansion. This is the in short I have written it. anyhow we have discussed in our previous lectures that this radius of convergence because why we are doing this topic how it is helpful why we are writing any function in series form if you uh, know the series concept and you know, uh, if, if this is particularly power series this is particularly power series on the basis of the radius of convergence will be infinity sometimes some functions are difficult and the continuity we can't see directly so what we do we apply this concept we write the series and we find the radius of convergence and if suppose radius of convergence i know that for this series it is infinity and if it is infinity it means there is no end it is convergent everywhere it is convergent everywhere therefore if it is convergent everywhere it means it is continuous everywhere so there is no point of checking uh any uh, definition we are not applying on the basis of radius of convergence i am saying that this function is continuous everywhere anyhow it is standard a fund very fundamental function e to the power x but i am just linking and just relating the things that how uh if any function is difficult not easy to draw not but not by definition you are able to check that whether it is continuous or not that what you do A derivative uh, series you write and radius of convergence you link up and then on the basis of that you can check the continuity differentiability the uh, rest part which are important uh, uh, because in calculus we what we do we check all these things the maxima minima increasing decreasing behavior and in mean value theorems we were checking the derivative concept so this is how this concept is easy uh, important now 
for sin x you can uh, the same you can do the same thing what at 0 and this is the last now because the rest of the uh, fundamental uh, functions you can link and easily write. So, f dash x will be cos x, f double dash x will be minus sin x, f triple dash x will be minus cos x. At 0 it will be 1, at 0 it will be 0 because sin 0 is 0, at 0 it is minus 1. Now I am writing the Taylor series of sin x. Taylor series of sin x and the series is f0. Okay, what is f0? fx is sin x. So, f0 is 0 only. So, f0 plus x f0 plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash 0 and so on. So, this is 0 plus x because f dash 0 is 1. Then x square by 2 factorial uh, double dash is 0. Then minus x cube by 3 factorial and this is minus 1 triple. And finally, the series is and I can expand it to so, this is the series x minus x cube by 3 factorial plus x5 by 5 factorial and this is of the sin x function. So, uh, this is all about, uh, this is uh, Taylor series, Maclaurin series at uh, fundamental functions of, uh, fundamental functions e to the power x sin x at particular point 0. We can calculate it at any, any other point but in general we always use the standard uh, 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 standard uh, series and that at the point of 0. It means these are, these are not Taylor series any, uh, these are Maclaurin series particularly. Every Taylor series is not Maclaurin but every Maclaurin series is Taylor series. This is end of part 1 and in this part we did Taylor series and Maclaurin series with remainder and remainder tending to 0 or approaching to 0. Uh, till now we were knowing that e to the power x series is this, sin x series is this, these are fundamental functions we use every time whenever we do mathematics. But today we got to know how we write or how we connect these functions with, uh, with their series form that we have learned in this part 1. If you want to learn engineering mathematics, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The ebook link is given in the description box below. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe S. Chand Academy. Don't forget to press the bell icon for the future updates. Stay connected, stay tuned, keep watching upcoming videos. Thank you. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.